Welcome everybody to the Out of Home Insider Show, a podcast like no other, hosted by the one and only Tim Rowe. Get ready to have some knowledge dropped on you and to be entertained because nothing's more valuable than food for your brain. So sit back, relax, we're about to dive in as the best industry podcast is about to begin. Welcome to another episode of Out of Home Insider. On our look back, check out my appearance on the Mark Podcast. We'll be airing it in a few weeks, so take a look at that. It's linked in the show notes below. In our look ahead, next week, we'll be talking to Chris Kane from Jounce Media. Same advantages that make CTV popular at home are now present in venues like bars, restaurants, and retail venues, but there are challenges in bridging the gap between the living room and the waiting room. And today, we're going to explore one of the ways that bridge is being built. Rob O'Rourke, Stephen Brooks, thank you both for being here. Stephen, I want to open this with you. How does content adjacency unlock CTV dollars for digital out of home? There's always been in those channels an implicit understanding that the enhancement for the advertising is the content, right? So the content adjacency helps make the advertisement a a little bit more engaging, but it also provides really, really critical information to the advertiser, which is to say context, right? So that you can have content targeting, you can have lifestyle targeting through that content. Digital out of home, traditionally, billboards on the sides of, you know, of uh, streets and, and freeways has lacked that context. It's just an ad. However, with the digitizing of, of out of home, that stricture is no longer in existence, right? But the transference from just advertising only into an advertising plus content model, which every other channel enjoys, hasn't really fully taken hold yet. So to answer your question, I would say, number one, it's just how advertising has traditionally in all of the channels been delivered. And because of that number two, it actually conveys a great deal of information to to the buyer, which is to say context, content context, provides brand safe environment for, for your targeted audience to, to consume your brand message. And then number three, and and that's just, it's so critical. Rob, how does this impact the ecosystem?